Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I've got a lovely project for you. Um, it's a pen holder. So I've made it from a snippet roll, piece of snippet roll. Um, and I've also used some of the little um, snap buttons that we covered in the last video. So I thought this was a really, really lovely idea. I've just popped it onto my reference journal here. Um, so, because I didn't have another journal to pop it onto. Um, so I thought if I put it on here, I can actually keep it on here. Um, and if I wanted it onto another journal, I can just pop it off, pop some little snap um, things on there, snap buttons on another journal and add this to it. So I think it is really, really lovely. So, and it looks really shabby as well. So it's a really good one to add um, to one of your journals and a good use of the um, snap buttons as well. So all it is, just got a little pen in there just like a little sort of tube here on there I've got the snippet roll on the front I've got a piece of fabric on the back and two extra pieces here with the little snap buttons on it and I've just popped two on here two on the inside I haven't covered these ones because this is just in my reference journal so I've just left those plastic on there but again if you're putting them on the inside and you wanted to cover them cover them up and then all as you do is clip that on there and clip that on there so again you can pop it wherever you like on the book you could even pop it onto the um, spine of the book and then you just pop your pen in there and that's perfect it's also got a little obviously you could pop a little tuck spot under here so what we've got I've got this little pouch here so look that just fits under there so it's really really handy and I love it you also I just wanted to show you as well this is um, just a piece of the other snippet roll which is the other part of this I put a um, snap button on there one on there and I've made it into a lovely little um, cuff bracelet just like that and I think that looks so so pretty imagine that in the summertime with a pretty dress I think it looks really really nice and it's a lovely gift for somebody as well um, so I think that's lovely and that is the snap button so you would never think that that was plastic and I think it looks so, so pretty and a fantastic gift um, for somebody. And I also, where did I do with those? I did it on here. These are covered as well. So you, I've seen these a lot on Pinterest, which I've never really made one because I've never had the snap buttons for before. So I covered these ones in just like the calico and I've just put my headphones in there. Um, I made a few more of these for Andy um, to put all the little um, his sort of like um, charges and things on so they are really good so that is just the most simplest thing it's just a piece of felt um, with two snap buttons on it and that's it so you could make these are great little gifts great little stocking stuffers so um, especially for the men in your life um, you could just make a few of those to pop in their stockings in Christmas time um, keep all their nice wires safe so I thought that was a lovely one as well and so so simple so this one I'm going to show you I've got a few things ready here now I'm going to use the two little green ones that I did yesterday because on this piece of snippet roll it's sort of like got green on there and I think these sort of like blend in really well so I'm going to use those two I've taken a piece of snippet roll which is six inches and then width ways it's about one and three quarter inches um, so I've done this one it's exactly the same so this is just the calico um, for the backing and I've just popped a little bit of seam binding so all I've done is get a piece of seam binding like this let me find the end and I've just popped it over like that and folded it over and then just sewed it okay so I've done that on the top of this one and also on the top of this one because when you pop a pen in here you need something like that so it doesn't get caught um, and it gives it a little bit more strength on there as well so so these both are six inches by what should I say one and three quarter inches and then I've got two of these tabs well I did have there's the other one okay so all of these bits bits are is I've got I'm not really that organized today a piece of the fabric here and I've just folded it in half like that and I've just gone around the whole of the outside of it so I've just folded it in half so I think let's just measure this it's 
probably about half an inch so that's about half an inch um, and that by two inches but we don't want the whole two inches length I've just made them a little bit bigger anyway so that's the only things you need so if you didn't have any snippet roll or you can just use a piece of fabric any fabric that you've got um, but you just need two pieces and all as you do like you take this piece here so you take one of your little bits like that and we want to pop it on the top now I measured this okay so this is about you want it about an inch it depends how you you want to do it I've fitted it on the page exactly um, so what I did I just put that one on that end and that one on that end like that and just sort of like measured it just like that so it's sort of even and then I just held that like that and then I've sewed this piece across here okay to keep that in place but this one you want to pop onto the inside so you don't see it okay so what I'm going to do let's just make sure these are level it doesn't have to be accurate like that so I'm going to put that one on the outside and then this one goes on the inside just so they sort of like hit the, the top of the page and the bottom of the page so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to sew along the bottom here and sew along the top here so I'll be back just two minutes okay so there we go let's just pop this I'm going to do it this way I think just so I can see that so that's roughly um, the right length so what I'm going to do this is the bottom piece so I'm just going to chop that piece off because we don't need that extra bit like that and again on this side we don't need that little extra bit there just like that so let me just tidy this up all these little bits like this okay so that sits like that and then all as we want to do now is pop this over the top just like that and then just sew all the way around the outside like that so it's really quick and really simple so if you make sure it's all nice and straight and then this bottom piece is hidden inside like that um, but the top piece isn't because I didn't want it hidden inside there because you'd see it so it's just sewed on the back like that so I'm just going to sew all the way around the outside of this one okay so there we are that's all sewn on there so I think that looks really pretty so we've just got a little pocket in there where's our pen let's just take that out pop that in there and you've got this lovely little snippet pocket which is lovely okay so now what we need to do is just pop our little um, snap buttons in here so I'm just going to pop that on there just like that and pop this one down this end just like that just so that we know where we're going to make the holes and I'm going to pop this one on here as well because um, it's the reference journal it doesn't really matter um, like that so I'm just going to see if I can poke some holes in here so I know where it is this one has it sort of gone through I don't know about that one so I'm just going to make a bigger hole in there just like that pop that in there just so we know where we are that goes in there what did I do with the other one there it is pop that in there stay is it just so we know that sort of level I think so that can pop through there we go and there like that perfect so that's the holes in that so now I'm going to add the little bits to this one so I'm just going to see which ones I've added these ones to the actual journal and these ones here so I need two of each and then another two of those so I'm just going to put the white ones in so I'm going to pop this one on here and then this one on top so that can be our little oops it's a daisy get our little tool pop 
that in there. So simple to do these are, and I'm absolutely loving them. I do have another project for um, junk journals for these as well, which I'm quite looking forward to showing you. So make sure we've got that up the right way. Let me just take this off just while I pop these through here. So I'm just going to use the plastic as well. I'm not going to use covered ones. Not on the this one anyway. Pop that in there. This one can go. Doesn't look very pokey on that one. Let's pop this through there. Like that. Pop that on. Like that. Which is perfect. Now, there we go. Now this will just pop on there. This one pops on that bottom one. Like that. And then we have another little pocket. Like that. Which I think looks really, really nice. Let's pop the other one on. You could probably make a bigger one. If you could make a bigger one, you could um, have sort of like few more pens in there as well you could have two little poppers at the top so many different ideas you can have but I think these look really nice um, and this isn't too bulky either they're quite flat on the back so I'm thinking they look really good so that's a good one so there we go guys quick and easy for you to do um, if you're not a sewer or you don't have a machine you can do some slow stitching around it that will still work um, and I think it will look really nice as well or you could do a laminated one on here which would look really good especially if you've got your laminated journal covers um, there's all sorts of different ways you can do it but I'm loving the um, snippet roll on here which is really nice I do have another snippet roll here which is a little bit bigger um, so I'm not sure what to do with that but I'm loving my little cuff bracelet I think that's so so pretty so there we go guys, there's a little project for you. I hope you like it and I hope you're going to give it a go. So thank you so much for joining me. A big, big thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Um, and there will be a giveaway coming up soon. So please stay tuned if you're not um, um, subscribed to the channel. Please do because you'll get a chance to enter the, the um, giveaway. Um, so there we go guys, thank you so much for joining me, please please stay safe and take care. Alright guys, bye bye.